हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर विजय भास्कर नोरी फ्रॉम विस्टा इमेजिंग एंड मेडिकल सेंटर हैदराबाद टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस विद यू अबाउट द रोल ऑफ रेडियोलॉजी इन ए वेरी कॉमन कंडीशन नोन एज फैटी लिवर डिसीज नाउ कमिंग टू फैटी लिवर डिसीज फैट इन द लिवर कैन बी कॉस्ड बाय मेनी कंडीशंस डिसीजेस कंजम्पशन ऑफ अल्कोहल लाइक सब्सटेंसेस और इवन अदरवाइज लाइफ स्टाइल डिजॉर्डर्स लाइक डायबिटीज एक्सेसिव फैट ईटिंग एंड एक्सेसिव कंजम्पशन ऑफ फैटी फूड्स सो दिस फैट वैन इज वैन इट इज देयर इन द लिवर इट कॉजेस वेरियस कॉम्प्लिकेशंस विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू द लिवर फेल्यूर एंड ऑल्सो अकेशनली कैन कॉज लिवर कैंसर इन ए लॉन्ग स्टैंडिंग सिचुएशन सो हाउ डज रेडियोलॉजी हेल्प टू आइडेंटिफाई द फैट इन लिवर इज दैट इज वॉट आई एम गोट डिस्कस विथ यू टूडे इन दिस टॉपिक रेडियोलॉजी हैज वेरियस मोडलिटीज टू हेल्प अस इन डिसाइडिंग इज देयर फैट इन लिवर एंड वॉट इज द क्वान्टिटी ऑफ द फैट दैट इज देयर इन द लिवर इन दैट पर्टिकुलर इंडिविजुअल वी हैव थ्री कॉमन इन्वेस्टिगेशंस known as ultrasound ct scan and mri the last and final investigation is a pathology and biopsy of liver parenchyma of a liver tissue they take a bit a small bit of liver tissue which is an ultimate uh, proof of the amount of fat present in in the liver so when we start with the ultrasound examination ultrasound is commonly freely available cheap and extensively done for fatty liver and it is a very good modality to identify fat liver but the problem with ultrasound is it cannot quantify the fat liver accurately we can broadly say it is mild moderate severe but we cannot pinpoint and say it is mild moderate severe number 1 number 2 ultrasound also has got some other uh, issues like it cannot pick up uh, pure fat it it the, the ultrasound ultrasound picks up the the image ultrasound image is a mixture of various uh, abnormalities within the liver parenchyma and not purely the fat content so these two make ultrasound as a screening first step screening modality initial primary screening modality but not the modality of choice then comes the ct scan now ct scan fat in the liver can be picked up by doing what is known as liver attenuation index or we just do a plain ct scan of the liver and in that we draw roi that is region of interest in various segments of liver parenchyma and then have absolute value and relative value absolute value if it is for example less than 40 half units we call it as fatty liver depending upon the amount of reduction in the density of liver parenchyma we call it as mild moderate severe also we compare it with spleen and depending upon the spleen density and liver density we again call it as mild moderate severe but here here again on ct scan it is mild moderate severe but there is no number there is nothing like a number which is given for the amount of fat percentage in liver then comes the most important modality known as mri mri is the modality of choice in short of biopsy to pick up accurately fat in liver and quantify fat in liver to the extent that it is almost equal to a diagnosis by biopsy if i say in biopsy it is grade 1 then in on mri also it will be grade 1 that is the accuracy with which mri can be done mri is mri is the very good modality because it does not have radiation it is reproducible no 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 intervention not doing any biopsy just about 6 to 8 second scan we can finish off doing an mri and in that individual we can quantify the liver fat for example 12% 13% 16% like that similarly uh, we can do it as a reproducible we can reproduce it we can do repeatedly because once a patient comes back after losing weight for example 10 kilos weight he loses and comes back now let us see what is the fat content in the liver now why are we worried so much about quantifying the fat with mri now mri accurately quantifies fat and fat only that is because of special chemical shift there are special sequences in mri which separate water iron and fat and then give only the fat content known as 
triglyceride fat content. This triglyceride fat content is the major component of the liver fat which causes all the complications related to fatty liver. So that is why MRI is the modality of choice at this point of time. And why should you why should you do an MRI? Why should you pick up liver fat? Why should you quantify liver fat? Now there is an entity known as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. What is non-alcoholic fatty liver disease? Now we always presume that is the alcohol consumption which produces fatty liver. Now that is why an entity known as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease which has come which is basically a lifestyle disorder and it can be in association with a metabolic syndrome like diabetes, hypertension, obesity and fatty liver. So these individuals who have NAFLD are at a risk for developing what is known as liver cirrhosis in the later part of the life after 20 years or so. So if we can pick up the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease in the beginning, we can give treatment, we can halt the progression into what is known as NASH and then from NASH we can halt the progression into what is known as cirrhosis or complete liver failure. So in complete liver failure, there are again complications which are a part of the complete liver failure. Those are uh, portal hypertension which can produce uh, bleeding from the uh, mouth, okay, esophagus from mouth or our lower GI tract. Then they can develop cancer, they can develop coma because of uh, uh, hepatic encephalopathy, so many complications. So the idea of doing an MRI in screening for fat on liver and quantify the fat, liver fat is that to prevent progression of an early fatty liver into a major catastrophe like cirrhosis and then its complications which follow as portal hypertension, bleeding and cancer also. So that is the importance of her. Now world over the NAFLD or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is becoming an epidemic. It is there everywhere without our knowledge there is a hidden fat within the body and this fat can be picked up and quantified by MRI alone at this point of time in short of a biopsy and then that fat after estimation the patient can be given proper treatment, proper lifestyle modification, proper diet modification and depending upon how he is, uh, how he is uh, uh, planning to uh, modify his lifestyle, uh, there are even some medications which are given to control the progression of fatty liver disease which ultimately helps us in progression, halts the progression and helps the patient in avoiding a major catastrophe like cirrhosis or um, um, end stage liver disease and also cancer liver. So I signing off uh, uh, in this, in the, from this episode, I would like to emphasize that the fatty liver commonly known as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is a rampant epidemic in the world. Imaging has a major role to play especially MRI will help us in identify the fat, quantify the fat and reproduce it serially with uh, various uh, at, a, at multiple levels you can do MRI, multiple times of uh, in times you can do MRI, uh, look for assessment of response and halt the progression of the uh, cascade of liver fat leading to inflammation, to cirrhosis, to malignancy or cancer and other various uh, a dangerous events. Thank you.